After reviewing DreamWorks Madagascar Karts, I wasn't looking forward to its sequel, DreamWorks Superstar Karts. Especially because I already reviewed the awful game on the Nintendo DS. Well, maybe it was just because it was the DS that I didn't enjoy it in the slightest. So I went in with an open mind playing the PS3 version. Little did I know, it was just as bad as the DS version, but with some improvements. Yet also, just not much in the way of content and features like Madagascar carts. Anyways, enough dilly dallying. We better get this review over with so I can focus more on fishing, bowling, hunting, and dynasty warriors in The Sims for the summer. Man, do I have a weird taste in games. Hello once again, kart racers. It is I, King Julian. It's time to party. I mean, race in my homeland of Madagascar. This is a very exciting racetrack where you will race on my beach, through my jungle, and finally, if you're lucky, you will cross my finish line. Drive fast, but don't go into deep water unless you want to be swimming home. The first thing to talk about is this game's lackluster roster of characters. Instead of having everyone from the last game or several new additions, they decided to cut most of the cast and replace them with newcomers. So sorry if you're a fan of King Julian, Gloria, Melman, or the Chimps. They got scrapped and are now just set pieces in certain tracks. Lame. We now have Shrek, Alex the Lion, Marty the Zebra, Skipper, all alone. What, no Rico? Rico! Hiccup and Toothless are now in the game. Yay, the most overrated DreamWorks franchise right there. Donkey is here, which is a plus. Then there is Bob again, but the other Monsters vs. Alien characters are just background decorations like most of the DreamWorks characters. You may notice I haven't unlocked everyone, and there's a good explanation for that. Well, we're waiting. I'm not replaying every single track in 5 cups and 4 different CC speeds to unlock everyone. Plus I think you need to also get a certain amount of DreamWorks logos to get new characters. I'm not sure. All I know is, the other characters are Princess Fiona, and the rest of the three are just reskins of Shrek, Skipper, and Alex. Wow, how lazy and lame. They could have included new characters. Or kept the old ones. But no, let's just add Shrek wearing his knight outfit, Alex wearing tribal paint, and Skipper in his sailor outfit. How stupid. Oh shit, I had iced tea. Also, where's Kung Fu Panda? How the fuck do you make a DreamWorks mashup game with no motherfucking Kung Fu Panda? <laughs> My tenders. Anyways, onto the tracks. At least these are a massive improvement over the last game, with most being scrapped in favor of new ones or completely redesigned. We have the Returning Africa, Madagascar, Shrek Swamp, Dragon Island, and Zoo Maps, with replacements slash new additions being the Kingdom of Far Far Away, Dragon's Keep, Island of Burke, and Galaxar's Ship. There's also three backwards maps with two that take place at night being Shrek Swamp and Island of Burke. And then finally, Galaxar's ship. <laughs> I honestly don't hate any of the tracks in this one in comparison to Madagascar carts. In fact, I feel like they are all good with tons of detail and characters in the background. There's hazards in each one with some feature of multiple routes you can take, which is a nice touch. My favorites are the Dragon's Keep from Shrek with its crumbling floors changing up the track giving more difficult laps each time. Run for your wildlife. New York City Zoo for its simplicity and tons of speed boosts. And then finally, 
Galaxar Spaceship is this game's Rainbow Road because it goes on for a very, very long time with tons of turns, different paths, and is pure chaos. Lock and load. Taking evasive action! In order to unlock stuff, you must complete circuit mode, split between three CC speeds and four cups. Three tracks per cup and six characters you can play as, with three more to unlock, and three reskins. I tried to play as long as I could before the game drained me of my soul, but it's just not a fun game that makes me want to keep playing after 30 minutes or so, but I did play for a few hours to get some progression, and tried to play everything I could. It's just not fun. Speaking of not fun, let's tell controls. It's less smooth than Madagascar carts in some areas. Yeah, they took the prequel and made the controls feel worse in a lot of ways. It's a bit harder to turn and recover. There's no drifting or anything special. You can now carry two items instead of one, which is nice. But they got rid of the turbo boost in favor of a single special attack you can use per character. You see those stars on the tracks? Grab five of them to use a one-time ability. For example, Shrek can shout and spin out those in front of him. You got Alex who jumps ahead and flashbangs the other racers to get ahead. Marty just picks up the cart and runs fast. Donkey has the most stop ability as he summons his abomination children. Yeah, you remember how he banged the freaking dragon? Donkey slap, donkey fly, go annoy those other guys. I don't just know I'm gonna use this on. Uh, I gotta get me one of these. Winner circle, here I come. I gotta get me one of these! And they attack nearby racers. If no one is around, they just swarm around Donkey till they're used, meaning his ability is always active till all the kids are used to attack other racers. If you get more stars, just summon more kids. Bob, I guess, just spams random items, and Skipper will use a megaphone to spin out the others. When you complete each cup, there's no award ceremony. They got rid of it in favor of the Lazy Mario Kart 8 way. You just get a trophy above you, and then it abruptly cuts back to the main menu. Madagascar Karts had a reward ceremony. Why cut it? Lame. Great! Another for the collection! Quick Race is just lets you play any track or character you have unlocked for said spe CC speed. That's it. So unless you play through the entire game in circuit, you have nothing here to play with in Quick Race. What's the point of Quick Race? Moving on. Yes. Challenge mode is here with several options to twist the gameplay around like No Items Race or every item is just the boost for faster racing and racing against a rival I guess? It's nothing special so we'll move on to the last mode. Damn. They removed checkpoint racing but kept time trial. You just race as fast as you can and try to beat the best time score. You're all alone with no items and it's just boring. Not worth it. Moving on. Two for you. The last thing to talk about is the music being good. Though I wish there was more variety, you mostly hear the game's thing during gameplay. Another complaint is the fact battle mode was added. 
but they messed up royally. You cannot play with AI. It's multiplayer only via local play. So unless you got several controllers and people to play with, obviously you don't because you play video games so you don't have friends, you cannot play battle mode. What the fuck? The developers were smoking crack. It's, it, it's awful. At the end of the day, DreamWorks Superstar Karts is a slightly improved in some areas but downgraded in others sequel to Madagascar Karts. They removed several characters and added mostly reskins. They removed several tracks to replace them with some things better, but why not just keep the old tracks and add more? They also removed Checkpoint Racing, which sucked, but still, why remove the mode? Just keep it and improve it. Also, why did they add a battle mode, but only make it multiplayer? Lame. I have seen the amateur and it is you. If you make a sequel, it needs to be better than the last game. If it's not, it must be condemned and rightfully so. How dare you make a sequel, but remove things and make things worse? That's not how it's supposed to work. But it is what it is. You know it, I know it, everybody knows it. Anyways, that's it for this video. See you all later. Very nice! Ha! Perimeter secure! Woohoohoohoo! Lock and load. Drop! Top two for you!